technology is the development of knowledge in science, IT and engineering to create machinery and devices that are interactive and can help to make certain tasks simpler. In the production of our media product, we used a variety of new media technologies. This includes filming equipment, post-production programmes and presentation software. We used these to make our production look professional and high quality, as this technology allowed us to capture good, clear footage and display it in an innovative way. The camera we used was a Panasonic HDC SD90. This camera has many features, for example the auto and manual focus options make focus pulls possible, as well as the white balance adjustments. This ensures that the lighting is consistent between shots. Using the Valbon tripod was very helpful in our production because it allowed us to, to film steady footage with smooth panning movements. This made the shots aesthetically pleasing as they were straight when needed and enabled us to extend it to reach the heights needed to get everything in the frame. This enabled us to make framing the best it can be because I'm able to adjust the height and angle of the camera on the tripod. An example of where this worked to, to our advantage was during the first point of view shot which showed Ricky walking whilst the camera is concealed in bushes. The adjustable height was useful here as it enabled me to extend the tripod so that the camera did not show the thick and non-transparent part of the bush. This benefited my production because it allowed the camera to capture footage that would otherwise be out of reach. Using the boom mic was very convenient as it was light and easy to use. All we had to do was plug it into the camera and hold it. We used this during the first scene which shows the characters talking and interacting. However, the use of the boom mic was not as effective as I'd aimed it to be. Wind noise is still evident within the first scene and can be quite distracting to the viewers. I think this may have been due to me, the camera operator, having to hold the microphone and so it was quite far from the actors. As a result, I think that the sound could be improved within the first scene of the opening sequence. We could do this by refilming the audio of each character to replace the original audio on the footage. However, this may eliminate ambient sound which will take away from the realism within the filming. To construct our media product, we used Adobe Premiere to edit the footage together. The software program allows us to place the footage as well as manipulate the scenes. Adobe Premiere can change the pace of the footage by slowing or speeding the duration and allows us to colour correct the footage to make it more consistent. During my production, I used this to change the brightness of some of the footage, turning the brightness into a more dull tone. I did this by using an iris that made the edges of the scene black and blurred inwards to create a sense of abnormality. With this, I wanted to make the footage appear darker by creating shadows at the edge of the footage. We were aiming for a contrast as the clip was ordinarily very bright, too bright to create the feeling of suspense we wanted. An example of where we have attempted to carry out this technique can be seen within the kidnapping scene. The picture appears to be a mix of light and dark which creates the sense of abnormality. The brightness behind the characters creates a sharp contrast as it hides any facial details. This creates a low key lighting effect which is very suited to the thriller genre as it gives the scene a gloomy feel. Plus, as the program allows the user to add several audio clips to the film, music accompanies the scene. This contributes to the success of the technique because music is very emotive and can help to evoke feelings of tension. As a result, I believe that I have been effective in using this technique. Adobe Premiere After Effects is another form of new technology that we use to create the company credits and title sequence. The software program allowed us to use templates and customise them to make them fit our production. For example, we could change the colours, movements and fonts of the opening sequence. To display my research, I have used Blogger. This is a new technology that has allowed me to upload my work to show the process of producing my film. The advantages of Blogger are that it's simple to navigate through and allows me to embed work from other sources of media. For example, when I was researching, I used other th forms of media technology, such as Prezi, Emails and Powtoon, to, dis to display my findings. These are presentation tools which allow me to present my findings in an interactive and appealing way. It does this through visual images, transitions and colourful backgrounds.